Hi there guys, so this is a very quick video where I thought it might be fun to deliberately infect a VM with a ransomware virus and then try and undo its mischief with the magic of snapshots. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. Hi there, well I guess before we start I should really give a little bit of a disclaimer which is you should never deliberately try and infect any computer or VM with any type of virus or ransomware, it's really just not a good idea. When I did this I ran it in a VM in a totally sandboxed environment being totally isolated in a VLAN which has no access to any of the other subnets where my normal computers or VMs reside. This was very important because a lot of viruses and especially ransomware it loves to go through the network trying to encrypt files. So anyway basically if you decide you want to try and mess around with viruses infecting VMs I take no responsibility for what happens and this isn't a tutorial showing you how to do it it's just for entertainment purposes only. Okay, okay, so with that rubbish out of the way, let's start. Okay, so this is obviously a follow-on from the videos earlier in the week where I set up TrueNAS on Unraid in a VM. And just to answer a couple of questions from the previous videos, such as this question Bartholomew asks. Any reason you don't recommend using the ZFS plugin directly on Unraid itself instead? No, the ZFS plugin is really great, and there will be a tutorial soon about setting it all up. I just think for people who have never used Z or ZFS before, being able to have everything from a GUI using TrueNAS, it's just easier. You know, for example, yeah, it's quite easy to set everything up, but should a drive fail, how easy is it going to be to restore it with the ZFS plugin, as opposed to if you're replacing a drive and restoring the ZFS pool using a GUI? And the same goes for like in this video using snapshots. I'm going to be using snapshots on a ZFS pool in my TrueNAS VM. The reason being, just because it's easier. And again, there's going to be a video in the future all about snapshot. That will not just be on ZFS, but it will also be on ButterFS, which is natively built into Unraid. You know, for more advanced users, I think the plugin's great. There are definitely advantages, as Tachyon Post points out here. The advantage of the plugin is it starts instantly when the server starts and doesn't have to wait for the array to start. That's definitely a bonus. Obviously, using ZFS inside a virtual machine, you've got to wait for the array to start up and also the virtual machine to start up too. And Day and Delife would like to know why you'd actually want to set up a free NAS VM and use ZFS. Well, obviously, snapshots is one reason, which you're going to see in a moment. But also, you can set up data sets and have compression, meaning when you save files into a ZFS data set, you can have those files be compressed. This is all on the fly and it's totally seamless with the end user or application being totally unaware of any compression going on in the background. So this can save quite a bit of space when saving things into a ZFS file system. And hey SlickPick87, yeah me too. I think ZFS is great and I love the BitRock protection and snapshots too. So let's move on to the main event. Ransomware versus snapshots. Now here I am over on a Windows VM. Picture the day, you've got a little bit of work to do, you're feeling tired, maybe a little bit lazy. You start off by opening up a spreadsheet for work and you think, oh man, this is boring, can I put it off? This expense report's almost two years late anyway, it's from 2019. What's another day going to matter, hey? Hmm, what's that photo over here? I can't quite see it. Maybe I should move it off the desktop. What is it? Ha, <laughs> shadow my little Siberian husky. Well, she's got the right idea, just chilling out in the sun, hey? Well, I think I need to chill out too. Maybe I should play a video game. Hmm, I've been wanting to play Cyberpunk for a while now. Yeah, but I don't get paid for a few weeks. Maybe I'll just download it and then buy it on Steam later. Yeah, good old torrents, hey? Ooh. Oh, time to relax and chill now. Oh man, I'm tired, I tell you. Hmm, what's this file here? Oh yeah, cyberpunk crack file. Let's run it and start the game. Ah, oh, come on computer, let's go man. Come on, I want to start this game. It's so slow. Ah, oh, what the f is that all over my desktop? And where's the picture of Shadow gone? I uh, just watched all this junk all over the desktop. I'm probably going to have to download this game again, aren't I? I'm just too tired for this. I just want to play the game. Come on. What the f*** is this about now? My files have been encrypted. Bitcoin accepted here. Send $600 worth of Bitcoin. Are you kidding? No, sorry. I'm just going to close this window. I don't want to do that. I'm going to close it. No, I'm not doing it. There, it's gone. I just need to reset my desktop from this. What? It's back? 
Oh, okay, okay, this is serious. Hang on, let me check my files. Let's see what's going on. Okay, opening my documents. Ah, uh, oh my lord. Everything's encrypted. Ah, that's all my work, all my spreadsheets. And this window keeps coming back. Go away. Okay, what about my pictures? Are they okay or not? I don't know. Oh, you bastards, man. So, yeah, as you can imagine, if that was the end of the story, it would be a pretty bad day. Maybe the only way to get the files back would be a trip to Coinbase or Binance. And even then, who knows, would you get them? I don't know. But luckily, this isn't the end of the story. There's more to go yet. Right then, Mr. I want $600 worth of Bitcoin. I'm not going to Coinbase. You're not dealing with any normie. You're dealing with a nerd, boy. And this nerd's got VMs and he's got snapshots. Because my daddy always told me, use protection. So with just a simple shutdown of the VM, it's time to restore the snapshot. Now, this could be done on ButterFS and Unraid with the ZFS plugin on Unraid. I'm using my VM, my TrueNAS VM, so I'm off over there. And now across to storage and snapshots. And here's some snapshots I've got. And I can roll back the snapshot to one I made before all of that mischief happened. And yeah, of course, you can have snapshots automatically be taken all of the time, you know, whatever schedule you want. But that's not what this video is about. So now I've reverted the snapshot. Let's go back to Unraid and fire up the VM. So right, moment of truth time. Drum roll. And yeah, booyaka, we're back. <laughs> Certainly worth a celebration because we got Shadow's picture back as well. So the snapshots brought us back before that damage was done by the ransomware. And going back to the documents folder. All of my documents are there, all of my spreadsheets, everything, everything opens up fine. So totally restored from that damage. So we can see snapshots are very powerful and very useful. Now I'm not saying snapshots are any substitute for good security to stop ransomware getting in your system in the first place, but it's a very good tool and something you might want to use. So it's time to announce the winner of ransomware versus snapshots. Winner palm tree. No, it's not palm tree. Winner is snapshots. Okay, so with the winner announced, I guess there's not really much more to say. So let's wrap up this video. Now, as I always say, if you like this video, then please guys hit the like button. Let me see you enjoyed it. And if you're not a subscriber of the channel, then why not subscribe? And to all of my patrons and supporters out there, thank you so much guys for enabling me to make these videos. I really do appreciate it. So with all that said, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good. And I'll catch you in the next video.